Again last week there was a lot of action on the south coast due to the sardine run. And what a fantastic sardine run it's been. With pockets of sods coming up our coastline for the last almost four weeks. Up to now a lot of these pockets are followed by sharks. And we haven't seen a lot of game fish. Now the last couple of days has been no different. Locations like Kelso, Umgababa, Pennington, Warner Beach, Lobo, Park Rennie and Pamula. Some really good nets were pulled and a lot of these shoals had sharks on them with a lot of fishing action for the avid shark anglers. Wherever these areas had banks in the back, the drone anglers got stuck into the bigger fish. Where the back bank wasn't so shallow, all anglers could get stuck into the action. Over this weekend, there were nets pulled at Scott Barini far far. A lot of pockets of sods still coming past Port Edward. Right up all the way to a Manzum Toti. Rourke Hamilton got stuck into a really good fish at Pennington. Sardine run 2018. That kept him busy well over 2 hours and 15 minutes. He accepted the challenge using his Daiwa Dog Pipe LD60. I think, uh, I got a bite. And his saltest 8 to 12 ounce rod. Very tight drag. We've been on here for a while and it's still taking line like this. But quite a tight drag. Just waiting for that uh, Nawa J Brave 100 pound. And then we're going to get a little bit nasty to this fish. We've got the Nawa J Brave 100 pound back, multi color. Now we're just being very naughty with this fish. Very naughty. Then a special shout out to Sadim Ahmed Rana, who assisted Rourke in landing his grey shark of 261,3 kilos. Dean Pretorius also gave his diver gear some serious exercise, landing a grey shark of well over 200 kilos. And that even with his busted knee. And then one of the new additions to the ASFN Dawa team, Tyron Bain quickly tallied up on the scoreboard with his Saltiga Dogfight 8000 and Grand Elite Rod landing some black fins and raggies between 80 and 110 kilos. Well, I'm in trouble, I'm on. Let's see if we can get these fish out. No, these are on drop baits, but I reckon you could have cast it to these fish. They came really close to a bait ball. And then some youngsters also went tight with Aaron Pretorius from Port Edward getting some really great catches of a hammerhead, diamond ray and a really prized sand shark or giant guitar fish. Fishing along the entire coastline has been good with catches streaming in from all over and we can expect a lot more sardine action over the next couple of weeks with big shoals still on the way from Transkei. Now guys remember to share the information, fish responsibly and make sure you subscribe to both channels to get the latest sardine run updates.